hello again friends welcome back to my channel god bless you so much for clicking on the video again today to hear what the lord would have us know thank you for coming again my name is sharon and um today um i'm going back to that word uh which i was supposed to give yesterday before that song took over and i felt in my mind and my spirit that the lord would need somebody to hear that song the meaning of that song and be guided by it and i pray blessed you Thank you again for coming today. Um, today's word is from the book of Psalm 73. We're going to be looking into the Bible today. But I will give a brief description of what this word is saying. Um, you know, we often get influenced by so many things, especially the internet these days, the social media platform, where everyone seems to have an opinion. They seem to have words to pass on. Everybody, almost everybody is on the internet these days giving their own version of how they see life and how you should live by their standard. So, well, some of us call them influencers, some of them call whatever name they are called. But um, this word of God today is to guide us on what influences us, <laughs> what should influence us, what should guide our decisions, our actions. This word is coming today for that one person. And in Psalm 73, as I said, a certain person was lamenting how life has been so difficult. And um, they, they see this person not living a godly life, but they are doing very well, you know, living life to the fullest. Not, it doesn't really look like they are getting into any form of trouble. Anything they put their hand works. It just looks like life is perfect for them. Yes, that was what the person who wrote this verse right now, this scripture, um, was lamenting about. Just as you also see people around you sometimes who are just doing well but you know deep down that this person is not living for god this person is not living a godly life this person is into so many things that is not godly you look at them and you wonder yes every one of us sees them around us all the time we see them we sometimes we even live with them yes we live around them we live with them <laughs> and we come across them and today and often often before i get into today these persons make us feel like we are not doing the right thing by serving God. Yes, that is what those influencers, in a way, make some of us feel. Some of us may not have been in that kind of, you know, easily influenced category, but this happens to a whole lot of persons, especially the youths we have these days. And today the word of God is coming to help you correct that notion or make you see what it is for what it is. <laughs> and this word came to me today. Don't get carried away by what you see. This person lamented until he went into the house of the Lord then he saw their end i need you to read the book of psalm 73 look it up for yourself read it i'm just paraphrasing and summarizing what that verse that chapter of the bible is saying this person felt inadequate all this while because these people who were not living for god were living their best lives on earth they were getting everything cheaply. They were succeeding at every point. Not until he went into the house of the Lord. The Bible said when he went into the house of the Lord, he now understood their end. He now understood it's better. He now understood how their end will look like. The Bible said the Lord has set them on a slippery ground. On a slippery ground these people suddenly you hear somebody is this 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 and suddenly whew, he's dead suddenly he's this way suddenly he's down mind you I'm talking about those that are not godly those that don't know God that doesn't mean that life does not 
happen to certain people who are God's children, but their father, God Almighty, picks them back up again. I'm talking of people who you think are better than you, but they are very, very obviously ungodly. They don't have any business with God. They don't even want to know. They don't even care to know. <laughs> Those are the people I'm referring to right now. And the Bible is telling us, even the word of the Lord says, do not compare. Comparing yourselves with others is unwise. It's an unwise thing to do. Never you come to that point where you begin to, oh, I wish I'm like this person. Let Christ be your standard. Let Jesus be your standard. Let the way of God be your emulation, what you emulate. Let it be something you emulate. And all of this is made possible when you stay with God, when you have decided to stay with God, when you have chosen to go God's way. Yes, sometimes going God's way means you give up a whole lot of things, a whole lot of enticements and a whole lot of choices. Yes, you give up a lot, but at the end, you'll be better for it. Because God is molding you to what he wants you to be, not what the world wants you to be. I perceive this word is for somebody. I perceive this word will guide you. I pray, I pray it blesses you too. Be patient with God. Do it his way. Go his way. Wait for his timing. Because it's when you begin to hurry up, that's when you get enticed by those influences or influencers who are not doing it God's way. The Bible says that God has set them on a slippery ground. Read the book of Psalm 73. I need somebody to read this psalm today. Maybe I shouldn't even read it myself. Read the whole of Psalm 73 and see that those things that influences you, that is getting your attention on whatever form of media or around you, around your habitation, if they are not in the ways of God, it's not going to lead you anywhere. The Bible says they are walking on slippery ground. The Lord has set them. That means it's the Lord that even set them there on slippery ground. Sooner or later, you will hear their end, and their end is not always good, except the one that comes to know the Lord later, except the one the Lord draws. The ones that stays there permanently and have chosen never to know the Lord, check their ends it's not always good this word is for somebody today i pray that the lord gives you the grace the courage to resist all the enticements that will pull you away from the way of god and keep you steadfast in the promise and the purpose of god and at the end of the day may the lord's blessing that make it rich and adds no sorrow find you in jesus mighty name this is all I've come to give us today by the leading of the Lord, and I pray it meets you well. God bless you so much, friend. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.